Yo, it's boxing antics. I'm all about the rant ticks. Yo, first and foremost, don't forget to smash the likes, subscribe, and hit the bell notification whenever I drop a new video. You understand? Yo, listen. You mans are disgusting. You understand? You mans got pure hate. Because I'm going straight in like a bullet. You understand? Right through your heart. And none of you mans are getting up. Saturday night, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fee was an amazing fight. It was eccentric. It was entertainment. Boy, Deontay Wilder is a modern day gladiator in this generation, in this era. Nobody can say anything about Deontay Wilder's heart. This guy went out on his limbs. He did everything he could. He tried everything, you understand, to the max. Yeah? But you minds are still hating on Deontay Wilder. You minds couldn't wait Deontay Wilder to retire, to get bullied, to get smashed by Tyson Fury. So you guys could go and start making memes. Making videos, making fun of Deontay Wilder. You see, fuck the UK, you understand? Because I'm based in the UK, so I ain't talking about the UK people. Because I know what UK people are about. But I want to address one thing. To you so-called American fans. And I'm not, I'm not saying every single American fan is out there. I'm saying 50-50, let's just say. Or some of you American people out there should be supporting Deontay Wilder. Should be rooting for Deontay Wilder. Should be happy the fact he was a former WBC champion. An American. Even back then, you man still slaughtered him when he had the strap around his waist. He never showed love. He never ever supported him. Never got behind him. And you know what? Fuck the marketability. You understand? Yeah? Just because AJ is a huge star in UK. He's very marketable. You understand? He's a poster boy. But listen. I'm a fan of AJ too. But I'm going to be key, I'm going to keep it real. AJ is just another artificial a robotic, a marketable guy. You understand? There's no in hell AJ could have done what Deontay Wilder did on Saturday night against Tyson Fury. Now, let's keep it honest, guys. Come on. Yeah? I'm sure deep down, you could open up your heart or soften your heart and say the least, you know what? AJ can't do that. Because AJ don't have the heart AJ gets frustrated after a few rounds. And when he gets cornered and gets peppered, he gets confused. Start looking at his cornerman for instruction. Yo, you had your plans. Plan B and sorry, plan A and plan B. You, you, you know, you're supposed to be prepared before the fight night. You had the training camps. But that goes out of the blue. But yet, you turn around and look at your cornerman like you're flabbergasted, like you're confused, like you're looking for answer. No, the answer was done during the preparation. You're meant to do fight studies. You understand? Clearly, AJ and his team, Rob Crackalacka Wacko, didn't do enough study on Alexander Usyk. AJ, when he fought against Usyk, he was garbage. You understand? He was absolutely a garbage juice. You understand? Guy don't have, the guy don't even have a flipping tank. He slows down, gasping for air. It's you see, it's, it's a double standard. A lot of people say, you know what? Could could there be? That uh, determined the fact, you know, Deontay Wilder uh, put extra weight, extra muscle mass, 
maybe slowed down, he gassed out. But hold on, you man was complaining about AJ when he was flipping a bodybuilder. He used to gas out. So you man was saying, you know what, he needs to kind of lose a bit of that mass and that muscle. Yo, even he came lighter, AJ. And he still got peppered. He still got gassed out by Alexander Yusik. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Yo. Man, Deontay Wilder, man. He's a true uh, warrior, man. Remember one thing. This guy came from the mud. Driving trucks around. Delivering goods to people's warehouses and the distributions. All them places that he had to do. Yeah? Just to support. And put food on the plate. Yeah? More than anything, he did it for his daughter. Who had spinal bifida. You understand? Yeah? So he knew it was enough to support his daughter. So he had God's gift, the power, the ferociousness in his hands. Two hands, I must say, that was gifted. That could knock any one of you mofos out there. That hand, that power, that made of steel took him far. You understand? You guys would dreamt to be in his position right now. He made tons of money. Tons of millions. And you know, he's good. He's settled. Wealth of generation for his family to feed on. Family will get tons of support. He's not going to be asking no money from you flipping cracker like a wacko from you mans out there. You understand? He did everything he could for his little daughter. And that's a real life movement. That's a real life story. You might should appreciate and applause that. Yeah, fair enough. I'll give Tyson Fury credit. Credit's due his credits. You know, was given. Tyson Fury was a better man that night. Tyson Fury, obviously, yeah, he beat, you know, Deontay Wilder. But Deontay Wilder also knocked the white bread off. Not once, but twice he knocked the seven foot giant. You understand? His whole belly, his whole body was in a vibration mode. Every single guts, the baguettes were rolling down his flipping knees. And he got down on the canvas. And the ref did count slow, in my opinion. Far too slow. That should have been a knockout and should have been over. But yet, Tyson Fury is a different animal. It's a different breed. You understand? A way more tougher fight than AJ. A way more tougher fight than any other opponents. He got back up. And yeah, he won. It is what it is, man. But Deontay Wilder went out there. He put his whole life on the line. He went out on the shield like he meant it. And he means it. And he stood by his words. Every single ounce. Every single day. He meant what he said. He went all the way to the 11th round. Till he got finished. Yo, how many people can say that? That AJ could do that. That Dylan Tawal, that um, Dylan White would have done the same shit. No. No in hell Dylan White would have lasted that long. No way in hell. See, Wilder is a special guy. This guy is a nice guy. Inside and outside the ring. I see a lot of channels out there hating on Wilder. Making videos and memes. Man, you guys are suckers, man. Not bug haggers, man, at the end of the day, yeah? Sucking on Tyson Fury's cock at the end of the day. Holding his bull bags and sliding in your mouth, going down your throat. And not even shitting the whole shit out. You're swallowing it. You man were never interested in that trilogy fight. But yet, when the fight was coming closer and closer, you were all jumping the ship. 
You guys are nothing but fake. I'm telling you. A fake ass fans. A fake people that never gave two damn about the trilogy in, in the first hand. Now, you guys want to talk about it now. Now, you guys want to put Deontay Wallace in your mouth now. Deontay Wallace believed what he believed. The whole glove gate situation. I stand by that. Because Tyson Fury is a dirty fighter. To be a dirty fighter, you have to be dirty yourself. It's the only way you'll beat him. Is Tyson Fury the best heavyweight right now? In this current moment, in this current climate, in this current modern era? <laughs> yes, he is. And he will smoke AJ. He will smoke Dillian White. Oh, the only one man stood up against Tyson Fury, and that was Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber. And my advice to you, AJ, F the rematch, because you will get annihilated. Yeah, come out of the rematch clause and fight Deontay Wilder, because arguably that's still the biggest fight, regardless. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble, guys. Deontay Wilder <laughs> would knock AJ out. AJ would be in the campus, shivering. He'd be out cold. Trust me. AJ might be fundamentally a, a better boxer. But the dude had a thousand flaws. When he lost against Usyk, what did he say? Oh, I'm still learning. It's part of the sport, part of the game. Dude, stop fucking saying that. I'm bored of that bullshit. Is that why you're going to say every single time when you lose? Oh, I'm still learning. Ah, yeah, I'm going to go back to the drawing board. You know, talk to my, my, my Rob Cracker Lucker Waku about. Nah. Your whole game plan was shizzle. You're chinny, AJ. You're scared now. You don't have the tigerness in you. You're not lying anymore. Ever since Ruiz stopped you, knocked you down four times, he came back as a different person. You're like a woman now. You're too scared to get touched. There's no more hunger in you. Why? Just because you're, you know, sleeping in a silk sheet? Chilling with your boys in a hot tub? That's the difference between you and Deontay Wilder. Because he don't give, don't give too damn about, about any of this shizzle. You understand? Deontay Wilder gets my utmost respect in the sport game. Other than they, man, listen. Them, them guys goes out there and fight for us, you understand? Show us the entertainment. They put the life on the line for us. Yes, his hand's broken. His knuckle got broken. But he's the champ. He's doing fine. And he'll come back stronger than ever. And there's no retirement plan. So fuck you lot, man. Oh, do you know why should retire? It's the end of an era. R.I.P. to Deontay Wilder. No, R.I.P. to you, my pits. Because you mans could only dream. You're in a bubble. It's a fairy tale for you. You can only hope in your lifetime that wish I could earn that kind of money what Deontay Wilder is, uh, is earning or he, what he has earned over the years. All you nut suckers holding bull bags right in your mouth of Tyson Furies. Now all of a sudden you want to give credit. Yeah, you know what? I'll give Tyson Fury credit. Yeah. That's far as it goes. 
Because I don't fuck with Tyson Fury like that. The dirty wild boar eater. The meat eater. The head bouncing from cockier. Yo, I then day, man. Smart rant, man. Big utmost respect to Bronze Bomber. A true warrior in this modern era. It was a hell of a fight. A classic fight. Nothing but entertainment. A blistering. Knockouts. Go back up. Show us more and more and more. He gave everything. In that ring. Boy, the entrance was fire. The costume was light. Till this day. Till this day. I speak it, believe it, receive it. I speak it, believe it, receive it. Yo. You got my respect, Deontay Wilder. All love from UK. You done a hell of a job out there. And I hope you get well, champ, and come back stronger than ever. Because right now, either way, you will smoke. When you come back, you will smoke every one of them muppets out there. And you know what? I hope you do fight Dillian White and put that flipping wacko to sleep forever. Guys, make sure you get the casket ready. Because Dillian, the Lycon, has been talking a hell of shit. And I just hope one day that fight gets made and puts him to bed forever. Yo, man, it's boxing antics, man. You understand? Don't forget to uh, subscribe, smash the like, and hit the bell icon whenever I drop a new bid D. <laughs> Till this day!